Welcome back to another Thinking Cap Spotlight, where we bring you a short to the point idea from one of our longer content sessions with global marketers and technology experts alike. Today, we will share a very important idea regarding this storage, security, privacy, and compliance your marketing technology needs to maintain specifically in regards to the customer data platform and connected solutions you may be building or have currently for things like analysis, email, SMS messaging, or even your loyalty platforms. I don't care which industry you're in, restaurants, CPG, or financial services. This session has relevance on your business and the way you build out your marketing technology strategy. And joining me, as always, our CMO here at Cheetah Digital, Richard Jones. Rich, how are you? Very good, sir. Very good. Cool. So, privacy, security, Risk management, what joyful topics, oh, right? Oh, yes. <laughs> no, but really, enterprise marketers across the globe, specifically ones in the financial services sector, have to keep this top of mind when they scope out and build their marketing solutions. It's far more involved than just having a CDP attached to some other technology vendor for email and maybe another vendor for mobile marketing or loyalty programs and hoping that compliance and risk management is baked in. The more vendors you have attached to your CDP, the more headaches you're bound to hit when you're trying to lower that risk and remain compliant with local, federal, or even global uh, regulations. Yeah, Rich, exactly. I mean, it's a big deal. And in this spotlight session, we have one of the world's foremost experts on data storage platforms and overall data systems architecture. David Rabb is the founder of the world-renowned CDP Institute and a genius when it comes to defining outlining and architecting customer data platforms and their interactions with other technology marketers and IT teams use on a daily basis. So what's the idea that we're trying to convey in this session? Yeah, well, let's start with uh, one of the most common questions we get when asked about our CDP solution and its potential for compliance and risk management. The most common certification in that space would be a high trust certification. Now, this is the seal of approval to speak to a company having the highest level of security available when storing and and processing sensitive data. Now, high trust stands for Health Information Trust Alliance, but don't be mistaken. You know, we're not literally talking just health data as in medical information. It also applies to sensitive data, customer data, including uh, all kinds of data that marketers use on a daily basis. Now, high trust stands for Health Information Trust Alliance, but don't be mistaken, we're not literally talking just medical data here. It applies to any sensitive data, including customer data and all kinds of data that marketers use on a daily basis. High trust was created to be a common framework adopted globally, which allows the assessment of an organization's privacy and security practices when it comes to compliance and risk management. And it's adopted by many industries, as I mentioned, including financial services, insurance, banking, and others like that. So when I go to the supermarket and I see, you know, the organic stamp of my produce assuring me that it's certified as the best quality that I can get, in a similar way, high trust is the seal of approval for having some of the highest le levels of security and risk management in technology. Uh, yes, I will accept that analogy. Ta -da. Right? You nailed it. All right. <laughs> but it's worth noting that our Cheetah Digital Customer Engagement Suite, which really is a single platform that combines the idea of a CDP along with messaging, email, SMS, and loyalty and personalization products, this is it's not only high trust certified, we're also SOC 2 compliant, and we're ISO 27001 certified, not to mention that we are real CDP certified by the CDP Institute, which is tougher than you think. Uh, there's many vendors out there who are trying to disguise themselves as a CDP, but don't actually meet that criteria. The CDP Institute tracks and ranks all global solutions out there. And of which of these, there's hundreds, Rich. I mean, literally, there's a new one every week, as uh, David mentions in a longer full-length session. So there's some certification firepower baked into our customer engagement suite platform. Right. But one of the advantages of having a true platform like our customer engagement suite certified by high trust is that not only is your CDP data storage certified and all that critical customer data protected, but now your messaging capabilities like email, SMS, loyalty, 
All of those things are within that framework. It really brings a level of confidence for marketers and your IT professionals knowing that their CDP is protected because it can save you loads of time, energy, and cash. Because now you're not chasing a bunch of other vendors whose products are attached to your CDP. You know, so your compliance and certification is all there. So a platform like ours does bring all of that worry home and it li limits the risk uh, and potential vulnerabilities that a typical, I'd say, MarTech stack, you know, a bunch right. of endpoints stacked together, you know, that situation, you know, you have a lot more risk out there. Well, that makes sense to me. Um, so what, what, what else do we have from David Rabb and the CDP Institute? Yeah, so we have a great full interview with David Rabb covering several issues related to CDP and data management. But in this excerpt, I want to show you right here, our own Nicholas Einstein from the Cheetah Digital Product Marketing Team asked David specifically about security and privacy today as it pertains to a CDP. You can use this QR code here to see that full session if you like, but let's roll tape on this. These are pretty uh, dynamic times when it comes to privacy and how brands and marketers are managing their customer data. International regulations, GDPR, state regulations in the US uh, rolling out as we speak. Uh, I'm in Colorado, I think Colorado just rolled one out. Um, there are some pretty strict requirements uh, on how brands can handle and use uh, their first party data. We also have Apple and Google stepping in uh, on the privacy front, making big changes. So I know you guys at the CDPI are laser focused on privacy. Uh, we just went through the CDPI, uh, a real CDPI certification again this year, and, and you had a lot of new questions about, about privacy. What role does the CDP play when it comes to security and privacy? And what should our audience here be thinking about when it comes to uh, their CDP and, and uh, the usage of their customer data today? Right, so privacy is hugely important. Certainly the European vendors, just think of GDPR as the CDP, you know, Full Employment Act, because pretty much every company in Europe has to, well, they all have to comply with GDPR. Many of them look to the CDP as the tool to do that. The, the reason that happens is what you have to do to deploy a CDP in many ways overlaps with what you have to do to comply with privacy regulations. So you have to find where all your customer data sits. Well, you have to do that to deploy a CDP, and you have to do that to comply with privacy regulations. You have to be able to pull all that data together and give someone a look at it. Well, that's what marketers do with the CDP profile, and that's what you have to do if you have a subject access request from a person, you really should call them people, not subjects, who makes a request mm -hmm. and says, show me all your data, which is a right under GDPR and CCPA, for example. You have to be able to keep track of all the processing that you've done. Very easy if you're doing all your processing by pulling data out of the CDP. It sits there as a choke point to make sure that data is only pulled out for appropriate reasons. You have to track consents. Well, guess what? You need a place to store that consent. CDP is the per perfect place to store that consent. And as I said, then to put governance on top of the data to make sure that the use of the data is only something that is, in fact, consented to or otherwise justified because consent is only one of the legal justifications for using data. So a lot of the work you have to do to comply with privacy is the work that you have to do to deploy a CDP. So it just makes total sense for the CDP to be the system that you do that in because before that, companies typically didn't have it all in one place. So they had, we're going to have to deploy effectively a CDP anyhow, just to comply with the privacy regs. Well, I'm glad I'm not in, uh, in IT, <laughs> having to juggle the, all these yeah, complexities of privacy and security. But as you stated, our customer engagement suite um, has some of the highest certifications. So if you are in FinServe or really any industry, give us a call. We'll walk you through our solutions and help you navigate those crucial requirements for your brand. And if you want to see that full interview with David Rabb of the CDP Institute, scan this QR code and we'll get you there. But also, remember, you can always browse our content at cheetahdigital.com under the resources section to find a full library of topics and advice from experts like David and other brand marketers just like yourself. So till next time, adios.